how's it going? You know, the appreciation is the subject of this audio and it has the potential to be highly educational. Listen to what this young lady has to say when she receives a response to your question. The ending of this audio, hmm, I just don't have any words to describe. So check it out using headphones and earphones will maximize your pleasure. Wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. Um, I've talked to you before and you've teased me about being one of those deliberate creator fiends, one of those goal setters um, that has everything worked out for years and years. And I've laughed about that and I've enjoyed that part of me. But um, something is changing. Um, things are softening. And what I find that I'm wanting now is instead of reaching for all that creating of things outside of me, which is great fun. Like what? I'm, oh, like, you know, abundance and houses and children and families and adventures like this cruise. None of which is outside of you because it is all what generates the vibration and the emotional response within you. So, okay. No creation outside of you, but we get what you're getting at. Okay. But well, now I'm reaching for a feeling. The feeling of all feelings is the feeling of self-love. And it's what I want more than anything in the world. And what I'm finding when I do your processes, it feels to me like every process has at its heart enhanced self-love. Like well, now think, think about what you're saying. You're exactly right. But think about it in the broader context. Every process that we offer is with the deliberate intention of helping you to release resistance. Yes. And when you release resistance, your cork floats and you become a vibrational match to who you really are. And when you are a vibrational match to who you really are, who loves beyond description, then that is the sensation that you have. And so you're exactly right. The processes are all about closing that gap so that you can perceive through a self that loves yes and all the processes feel like that to me and I've noticed it in an incremental way it, with the cork rising slowly and um, when I came on this cruise I wanted to sit in this chair and ask you to hit me with the self-love stick so that I could feel total self-love um, instantly and not incrementally not over time um, but faster and more and then i've been here all week and i realized that um, incremental was okay incremental is wonderful and that's been your message about everything we've talked about because vibration is vibration and you can't set your radio dial on 6 30 a.m. and hear what's being broadcast on 98.7 there is no such thing as a quantum leap there is no such thing before you go further we want to say to you very simply that the only hindrance to self-love we're just gonna lay it out here where you can see it what has caused an eroding of self-love within so many of you is comparing you and what you want with others and what they want and you and what you've got with others and what they've got that's what causes an eroding of self-love what causes a inclusion of self-love a an embracing of self-love a, a loving of self is a not giving a rip what anybody else thinks and having your eye only on these two vibrational points of relativity where you thought by thought experience by experience conversation by conversation memory by memory experience by experience just train yourself into something that feels better and better and better and better and better in other words it is if there was ever an inside job it's got to be that because when you are taught love by somebody outside of you like a mother or a lover as they are loving you and you're really feeling it what's happened is they're tuned in tapped in turned on they've already for whatever reason focused upon you in a way that they are a vibrational match to their inner being and so they are love they are liquid love and as they hold you in their gaze they flood this all over you and you say "Ooh, this feels so good I want this always but then you need their undivided attention then you need them to always be tuned in tapped in turned on and you need them to hold you as their object of attention and they will let you down every time the selfish buggers because they have other things they want to think about and they cannot hold themselves to that standard and so when you finally get it that while it feels good to be loved 
nothing feels better in all of the universe than to love yes. and we want to replace the word love with some other words we want to say that when you are fascinated by something you are in that vibration of connection with who you are that's as close to love as it gets when you are appreciating yourself or someone else that's as close to it as it gets Jerry and Esther can be in a restaurant and there can be some sweet waiter or waitress helping them and Esther will offer not to them but about them to Jerry some appreciation about them and ripples of connected energy will just soar through her body as she joins us in our appreciation of that person you mm. see so as you realize that here you are in this body a perceiver and you've got your telescope out there so to speak and you're looking out and you're looking at something and whatever you are perceiving through your telescope is generating an emotional response in vibrational relationship in other words you would have no feelings at all if there were not this vibrational relationship between where you are and who you really are and so as you look out with the intention of finding love now you're looking for people that are tuned in tapped in turned on which is not that easy to find sometimes especially at work and get them to love you or you're looking at it in a, at, for it in a boyfriend or in a lover or someplace and now you're powerless because you can't control what they're doing with their vibrational relativity and so you look for it and don't find it and look for it and don't find it and look for it and don't find it and then you tend to call that self-love I'm looking for love and I'm not finding it and because I didn't find it then I trained myself not to love me because I don't love me because that one doesn't love me and I don't love me because that one doesn't love me and I don't love me because that one doesn't love me and we say they're not loving you because they're not tuned in they don't have the capacity to love you unless they're in alignment with who they are and so don't look for the love through their eyes look for the connection through your eyes and so let it be love of this rug and love of these flowers and love of this environment and love of this wonderful air and love of this ship and love of what I'm having for dinner and love of this hair clip and love of this ring and love of this watch and love of these flexible fingers and love of whatever I can feel appreciation of and as you just begin to tune yourself first to the things that are easy to appreciate and then to the things that are obvious to appreciate and then as you begin looking for things to appreciate you begin to tune yourself into a vibrational alignment with who you really are about things that are easier for you to love because friend we don't want it to be this way it shouldn't be this way but for most of you the hardest focal point on the planet for you to love is that one you see reflected back in the mirror well that's exactly go what home today or back to your cabin today and sit before a mirror and sit there and look into the depths of your eyes and look with the intention of seeing your inner being looking back at you and say I know you're in there and I have an inkling of how you feel about me because Abraham has been talking about it and I'm just gonna look for you until I find you I'm gonna stay here until I find that feeling of awareness of me and appreciation of me that I'm looking for and from where you are we can feel that you can get there very quickly but the most important thing that we're saying to you is this self-love that you that you think you're looking for is not love of self it's love that is self and there's a difference there's a difference between loving me and being me who loves and it's being me who loves that is really you and when you're me who loves it's easy to love that one and 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 then it becomes irrelevant what your object of love is if you're loving what difference does it make what is the reason the focal point for the love that you're feeling what possible difference does it make that would be like eating a really wonderful meal and while you're eating it being unhappy that you can't be eating that one and that one and that one and that one and that one doesn't matter which meal you're eating as long as the meal you're eating feels 